guys. Uh -oh. I thought it was a scooter. That's insane. Do you want a bike that weighs 68 pounds? If you take the battery off, it's 56 pounds. That folds up, super light. It says it goes 80 miles, but it, honestly, I think you could probably get about 40 out of it. With a 13 amp hour battery, it's just not gonna. I've done too many e-bikes, over 1100 reviews, and I've never gotten a 13 amp hour uh, battery to do 80 miles. But this is probably the lightest, most versatile, foldable e-bike that I've ever done a review on. Uh, decent sized back battery, 750 watt rear motor with a 1125 peak power. Uh, big, beautiful knobby tires. And this is a uh, 20 by three. Uh, just that perfect middle of the road where you can do uh, sand, snow, uh, you could ride on the road. It's just a great versatile tire. Um, but. What's so great about these is you don't have to have any special skill to put these up together. They're almost all put together. We got to put a front tire on, a couple of pegs, uh, a headlight. So let's get this thing, let's put it together. Boom. All you need is just grab you a chair because everything we're going to work on is pretty much back here. Um, so you don't have to um, have a get on the ground moving around just get you a nice comfortable chair and let's get inside this all right let's open this bad boy up here um we got our foldable pegs got a little tool kit you got some screws here with some washers and that's to uh it comes with a front rack that you can move the headlight up front uh so that's this right here uh comes with a manual uh that we're not going to use because it's just too easy to put this together all right first things first so it's got a groove this is your handlebars right down the center here lift this up you can't do this wrong open up the clamp and come on just easier if you're there it is boom just put it uh, on there you can adjust it later but this keeps this completely straight with the tire so that's done let's get in here They've given you some tools. These are kind of throwaway tools. These are not something uh, that you would probably want to keep, but it'll get the job done. So lift this up and we're going to, we are going to take this little bracket off. This bracket, they, um, back in the day, they didn't put these brackets on and I've been getting e-bikes that the forks were broken, like right here uh, at the triple tree. And um, um, so they started carrying, putting this bracket on here. And uh, now that's eliminated that problem completely. All right, let's get this tire on. Then we'll put the fender on. And uh, dude, I mean, put seat super simple. Make sure you keep the brake on the right side. And oh, all right, let's lift this up. Is this? Okay, okay, okay. So you're gonna have to loosen this up. Boom, I'm loosen this up. I wanna show you something. Come here for a second. So can you see it's got this little washer and it's got a um a little hook in the washer that's going to go into a hole on the uh on your forks uh so this will keep from trying to come out so heads up there this is the only company that i have worked with that puts loctite on freaking everything put the brakes on first it's just heads up there don't try to don't even look at the uh, axle um there we go so we're on and this is just, you could take all of this off if you wanted to, but um, am I on the brakes? Yeah, come on, come on, Mr. Brakes. This is really the hardest part. All right, there it is, right there. Do not turn this upside down. I've heard people say, just turn it upside down. You will damage your LCD screen. Uh, you could damage your, um, your shifter, uh, your electronics. I, I don't agree with that at all. Um, and I'm saying that from experience, and then I promised myself I wouldn't do that. And I watched someone else do it and crack their LCT screen. So I was like, yeah, don't do that. Um, so, I mean, we're almost done. Uh, I'm just tightening this down. Uh, and all right, we're going to put this front fender on. So you see how it's the, the lines are like this. Perfect. Um, we're going to put this right here, the long side on the back. All right, so the back screw is going to be a 10 and it's going to be your middle. There we go. If you've got better tools, please use them. Do not um, 
use a screw uh, screw gun you can take it off but this stuff's like quarter 20 it, it is not um you can break these i wouldn't put a lot of power into you know you can adjust your uh, drill i just don't want you to break these screws you could go to the hardware store and buy more but hardware is not cheap anyway but this is difficult here we go come on all right yeah i knew that was gonna fall and the washer come on just blue lock tight everywhere what blue top lock tight is is um i should have just left it on there the the screw is like a glue for your threads automotive companies use it all the time uh i don't know why dang it the um the bike community uh hardly anyone uses it it's frustrating a little bit especially when you're in the woods or you're out somewhere this is when this will fail okay so i got that on that was a little bit on the aggravating side it always is though to be honest with you all right let's get this up you can adjust it it's got it gives you plenty of room i'm gonna get this up come on need a little higher give it a little bit more clearance all right so i've got it when i used to build motorcycles we would take um i'm just gonna leave that lightly on there water hose like cut it and wrap it with tape so that would give because the tires swell as you ride not necessarily on a on a bike but a motorcycle you, the faster you go the more swell the tire will have so a length of a water hose is perfect for i mean up to like 100 i guess 10 miles per hour 120 miles per hour so when we were build uh choppers and motorcycles we always just use the a water hose that was the distance but um this is super super simple here there we go boom boom i want to lift this up a little bit higher oh my god jesus screw the washer Alrighty, tidy lefty loosey there we go man why was that so freaking hard there we go all right so come here i want to show you what i did just so you see it there we go so right here and you'll put put one here and here and just make sure you got some good clearance around your tire and it's okay if you lift it up and just spin it just to make sure you've got some good clearance and not ruin this at all we are almost done what i'm going to do is put this rack on that you'll get right here um i don't have a knife on me which is like a carnal sin but they do give you a little flat head so let's put this boom boom and it's just take these little four screws off and this is complementary uh and we're gonna slide that right on there just like that super simple four screws put it on and we're uh, almost done guys let me get this put on real quick this is just aggravating especially because it has blue lock tight on it it's the pain such an awesome company just because they do worry about and this is a um uh, l20 2.0 what they did was they improved almost everything with the old style it's a bigger rear tire or bigger rear, rear motor uh bigger um battery the one it did 10 amp hour this one here as a 13 or 13 and a half uh, amp hour the only thing is i got while well, i'm doing this the um i trusted the uh like it says 80 miles i just did a uh, a trip from miami to the keys where most of all the bikes were 20 amp hour uh 18 amp hour stuff like that and they're all saying that they could do 120 miles and blah 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 and i don't know where they get that number from because every one of them would pretty much fail around 60 and these are big amp hour bikes and this is a 13 amp hour this will not do 80 miles it says it but it doesn't it will not do that but honestly i think you could get at 13 miles you could get maybe 40 35 40 miles out of this and that's actually someone is a fairly strong person and, and we're talking like pedal assist too not uh not using throttle at all let me lift this up a little bit so it says maximum um weight is 8 kg which i don't know what that is um let me look at uh what is 8 kg six to 17 and a half pounds you can put up front here and 50 pounds on the back we're so much almost done and all i've done was just put the front tire on the fender i'm putting this little rack on here putting this on so this right here there's a little tab and um let's see if we can 
So this is gonna go right there. Let's put it on the back. So this will be up front. Now, normally you would put it right here on this rack right here. Uh, if you don't have this rack, you would put it on this screw here, uh, just like that. But because you have this, we're gonna put this on here. And it, they give you it, the little bag right here. So let's dig into this. This is like a little balloon tie. They could have just put it in a Ziploc bag. That's a lot of bag. But again, Loctite, uh, lock washer or lock nut, everything about this. I I'm just impressed with that. Put a washer in first and then boom. You can pull this down, put the other washer and then a 10 millimeter nut on the back. All right, so same as before, that'll fit there. And 10 millimeter, let's lock this bad boy down. Again, if you've got better tools like ratcheting wrenches or anything like that, dude, get them. Just be careful. Don't break any of these screws. All right. Boom. Boom. Now we've got this little LED light. Perfect. So it's going to take about six hours to charge. Um, we need a 15 uh, for the... For the uh, pegs and uh, grab your little flathead open this up so i want to show you something uh which is really neat but if you take and squeeze this right here it'll fold itself in so you just squeeze it and fold it back so this says on the end here on the tip it's right so this is going to be riders right riders left so let's put these on we're almost done all right so riders right and it shows right here how, because one side's going to be righty tighty, the other one's going to be lefty tighty, which is going to be a little bit weird to you. Do not force these in. If they don't feel right, stop, because you can strip these. Alrighty, I think it's a 15. Yeah. All right. I'll put it on the other one. I'll be right back. All right, almost done. Put it, put it on the seat. I want to show you something cool about this seat. Alrighty, so you'll open up this clip just like this Slide this in Lock her down if you look at this got this little rubber piece right here, but if you look it's got a built-in shock on the back of it Take a look at this That is freaking amazing. I don't know why all companies don't do that. If you're gonna do a hardtail, why not put a little shock on the back on it? This can't be that expensive. All right, let's get into this. Um, I wonder, so you're gonna have to, where's the keys at? So the keys are gonna be right on the, the thing here. Let me grab them real quick and come with me. All right, let's get these keys off real quick. Boom. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to leave the key in for it to run. You stick this in. If you turn it one, if there's a lever right here, lift this lever up and it'll slide up. And this will slide, let's see. It can be pulled out um, so you can charge it. We're gonna push that back. Um, so now we're gonna be able to turn on everything. Right now it's plugged in. You'll have to leave these keys on here, but you can take these out and put them in your pocket or somewhere safe. But all right, let's go look. All right. So you've got buttons on the side, you got a button on the bottom, you got a plus and a minus, and then there's nothing in the center. So what you'll do is you'll push this button, gives you your power. Um, so right out the gate gave you three bars, which is nice. There's your speed, your pedal assist, and your miles. This thing's already got 0.6 miles. Um, that's probably just moving it around. Uh, you hit your plus button over here, and that's pedal assist one, two, three, four, five. These are gears, um, so you can, uh, Here's your throttle. Oh. Um, throttle, gears. So on the side here, I think the bottom is your lights. Watch this. You see that? And I'm going to hit the lights here. Take a look. And if you hit your brakes, that's if your lights are on so you can be seen. And you have your top button so you can see your odometer, your maximum speed, average speed and then your trip it shows you your lights are on usually this dims when the lights are on typically because you're uh um see how brighter it got and then you got a bell and you got hydraulic no there's our cabled brakes um yeah 
absolutely love this bike. $799 as of writing the video or doing the video as of right now. Uh, I'll put it in the description below if you would like one of these. Simple, simple, simple build. I mean, it's a great bike. You can haul things on the back, front, 17 and a half pounds, 50 pounds on the back. It's got shocks, uh, lightweight, 68 pounds. If you take the battery out, it's about 56 pounds. Um, yeah, I like everything about this bike. I approve it. If you like videos like this, hit your thumbs up, hit the notification bell on the bottom, and I will see you on the next one. I appreciate y'all.